uh, we've got the most amazing person standing right next to me right now, Mr. Marco Rucker, the legend from The Walking Dead. Um, can you tell us a bit of time working on The Walking Dead and just let people know a bit more about yourself? Oh, well, The Walking Dead is, uh, you know, speaks for itself. I, I was on the first season as Merle Dixon and I came back a little bit in the second season as a delusion to uh, give my little brother a kick in the sphincter and get him up and running so he didn't die in, in the gully there. And uh, now I'm back full time in uh, season three and having a, a damn good time. Yeah. Put a spoiler warning on the start, this just in case. Um, so how, how did you get involved in uh, Black Ops 2? Obviously you're playing Harper. Um, so how, how did you try out for coaching? Well, you know, uh, uh, the, the, the guys over, the folks over at Activision and Treyarch are big uh, Walking Dead fans. Yeah. And one of them saw, one of them saw my work and suggested my name and others uh, watched me and said, yeah, we love him, let's get him on, uh, on uh, 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 Black Ops 1. And we did a, a zombie pack called Resurrection. Yeah. And, uh, and I, I played myself, Michael Rooker, you get to play as Michael Rooker. And uh, who else was there? Danny Trail, uh, uh, Robert England, Sarah Michelle Gellar, George Mel. Oh, great, great stuff. Great yeah. stuff. Yeah. Um, so you mentioned downstairs uh, when you were on stage about how you was uh, doing the motion capture in the very tight suit. Um, do you want to do you want to share what what people watching? Well, motion capture is a very interesting uh, um, uh, a way of. Uh, that's the way we do the games. Yeah. You know. Uh, and, and the suits have to be really skin tight because they want to get exactly your your body structure and your body movements. And you have sensors all over the, of the suit. Yeah. You have sensors over your skin, your face, your eyes, and, and lips, and everywhere. So, um, uh, so every time I did the motion capture, I'd have to shave, clean shave. Yeah. We had a little problem toward the end because I was still working on motion capture and The Walking Dead, and as you can tell, I'm in The Walking Dead, I gotta have a little stuff on. Yeah. So uh, they had to like take scissors and cut out little spots to put the sensors. Yeah. So, um, wow. but we did it, we did okay, yeah. we did okay. So um, I think you mentioned downstairs you were working on this game for 10 months, was it around 10 months? About 10 months, yeah. Was, was that something that surprised you? We did you just think so much would go into the game well, experience? Well, they, they told me what was gonna be expected of me, so I knew it was going to happen, but I didn't realize, I mean, at the beginning I didn't realize it was going to be uh, that involving. Yeah. So was, but it was, they were able to shoot it and do the motion capture and the voiceover uh, working on my schedule. Yeah. So, so that's good. Um, is, is there a part of uh, Black Ops 2 you're particularly looking forward to that you've been involved in story-wise? Probably can't mention spoilers, actually. Oh, no, 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 I, I did Black Ops 2. I mean, my gosh, I, it's... it's all action. It's not yeah. all action, but it's a tremendous amount of action and a, a, a great moments uh, that uh, they realize, you know, you get story moments. Those are really cool moments and they're very well written. So they're like doing tiny little, uh, little skits, little portions that help develop. Uh, <laughs> oh, oh, I'm, I'm sorry. Sorry, pretty girl, pretty girl, pretty girl happens. I'm in the, U the UK and there are pretty girls here and I'm sorry. Uh, there she goes again.